Shelby, your Ram truck starting pitcher, his third start in his return from last May's Tommy John surgery. And as Bob mentioned so far, a couple of losses hit hard by the Marlins and the Giants. And he's kind of past that point where it's just a victory to be out there pitching again. He needs results. In the hole. By Lamb and Abed, it's Wahe's home, an RBI single for Myers, and it's 1 0 Padres. The hard top spin ground ball through that left side, diving effort by Jake Lamb down there at third. He can't get to it. And Got him. Good curve ball from Shelby gets his first strikeout. Truck starter for the Padres, it's the lefty Eric Lauer, 23-year-old rookie. He's a proud Ohioan from Grafton, Ohio. Right field, right at Renfro. Well, the first two reach, and they are stranded there. D-back still trailed one nothing. Hard to second. Marte goes to third. Got him. It was hard hit. He got a nice high hop and took a chance at Spangenberg. Well, that's great awareness by Cattell Marte. Hard hit ball. The runner at second base. Spangenberg held up momentarily because it was a line drive one hopper. Marte realizes we got a chance to get the lead guy. Throw was a little high, but well in advance of Spangenberg. Nice job to get that lead runner. Bouncing ball up the middle. Ahmed, Marte, they roll it. Bottom two all the way. D backs trail it 1 0. Up the middle and into center field. Here comes Marte. RBI single for Lamb against the lefty, and we're tied at one. Padres haven't been shifting as much as we're used to seeing other teams shift, especially with Jake Lamb. You can see where Freddie Galvis was positioned at pretty much a normal shortstop spot. Second baseman Carlos Suarez playing Jake to pull just a little bit. He finds that gap up the middle of the field for the first run of the game. Great play by Suarez. Galvis turns it. Boy, some tremendous defense from the Padres infield, but the D-backs get the equalizer. We're tied at one. Randy Johnson coming up. Um, let me take a look here. Out there. Lauer strikes out, second strike out for Miller. We've lost Randy Johnson, by the way. If yeah. you find him, let us know. L.B. Miller at 96. Opens up the third with back-to-back -back strikeouts. You know, you're not going to get that down at double A or triple A, unfortunately. And at the same time, we're in a pennant race. So it's a fine line of giving him his opportunity to. That kind of thing takes time. Do you want him pitching down triple A or do you want him pitching here? Right there, there 97. 97. And Shelby's got his fifth strikeout. He struck out two in the third, now two to start the fourth. Did he know the numbers? Uh, Edges gets into one, drives it. Deep left field. Well, we told you Austin Hedges big power last year. That's his third this season, and the Padres have a 2-1 lead. He threw 96 to get through five innings Saturday against the Giants. This is driven deep to right center field. A.J. Pollock under the home run porch, and it's off the wall. It rolls back towards center. Oswahe is going to come in. Myers digging for third. He's got an RBI triple. Second RBI hit for Will Myers tonight, and it's 3-1 San Diego. The big unit doing Padres baseball. Bounced up the middle off the glove of Ahmed. And into center, that gets Myers home. And how about Hosmer hustling into second, and he's in there. A nice high hop for Nick, and he just whiffed on it. Man, I 
was shocked by AJ in center. I'm even more shocked by this. Filing 4 1, Andrew Chafe in the left hander on to face Corey Spanschenberg. Eric Hosmer at second base after the Ahmed error. That's in the right center. Osmer coming home, 5 1 San Diego, RBI single for Freddy Galvis. Here's the left hander on for the Padre Pennants, Matt Strom. So far, a 2 4 5 ERA, his 16th appearance. They'll flip Marte around at bat right handed. Big ballpark, great offense, good bullpen that preserved the leads that I had. Fly ball out to Renfro, and he's got it. Strom comes in, gets three out, strands two. Fernando Salas on to start the seventh against Padres catcher Austin Hedges. The Swahe belts that into right field. Jankowski coming around. Six to one, San Diego. Big day for Carlos Oswahe. The backs have left eight runners on base. Arte sends one way out of here. Goodbye. Won't go anywhere. It's six to three. Another extra base hit for Cattell Marte. Fastball up and in to start the sequence. A slider for a called strike, and then another fastball at 93 inside part of the plate. See you later. Our nationwide vision eye on a game. Cattell Marte touching one up. Six appearances, five innings. He's given up seven runs. You see those 58 punch outs. That has come in 40 and one third innings pitch for. Another slider and John Jay strikes out. Another slider, another strikeout, two down. Here's the fastball, and that's the ball game. Padres take the opener six to three. D-backs drop to one and six on this homestand, and they drop into a tie with the Dodgers for the lead in the National League West. Yeah, a lot to be encouraged about for the ball game tonight. The offense woke up a little bit, pounded out 11 base hits. Unfortunately, a lot of them didn't come when they needed them the most, and Shelby Miller once again, big step forward tonight.